POC Network here with a special kind of a run here. We have a solution for you, a do-it-yourself project, uh, you could say or call it. Uh, but we have been reaching out to manufacturers over the last year and asking one big question, a question that we've heard from you and a question we've been wondering ourselves for quite a while now. We've had docking solutions that can make cloning drives very easy from hard drive to hard drive. That includes spinning hard drives and SSD drives that are 2.5 or 3.5 inches in nature. But now we have new hard drives entering, not entering, but they are in the market that are both serial ATA and NVMe PCI Express M.2 format. And the big question is, now what do we do? Now we know we can clone a drive to a drive easily, but what about these smaller M.2 formatted drives? There is no real external dock per se that has a user-friendly cloning function or anything like that that's specifically made for that in general, uh, regardless if it has its own cloning function or not. However, we have a workaround. They do it yourself, and it's all thanks to OWC, or Other World Computing. And with this, what we have here is actually their OWC Express 4M2. And this is actually made for RAID configurations more than anything else. This is so that you can actually get an external enclosure with multiple M.2 drives installed. It supports up to four drives. And then you RAID them together and you have this massive, super fast external enclosure. Uh, for, you know, great for editing and all sorts of great stuff if you're a professional. But you could also use it to clone. Because think about it, it's an external closure that, an enclosure, excuse me, that supports up to four drives in RAID mode. But it doesn't have to be RAID. Each one can be its own drive. So essentially, you could put two M.2 drives in here and just use Windows or Mac to clone one drive to the other using your favorite software. So it's not as quick as it has its own button or anything like that, but we have a solution. The only catch is that it does not support serial ATA M.2 formatted drives. It's PCI Express and VME only this route. So if you have the other route, sorry guys, you're gonna have to find a different solution uh, that will require you to pop open your computer. But what this is all about is for two scenarios. A, you have two drives and you need to clone one to the other. One could be your Windows drive and the other one could be the one that's replacing it or something if it's starting, the original one's starting to fail. And you only have one slot for the PCI Express drive in your motherboard. Or the second scenario is, you simply just don't want to open up your computer to clone a drive to a drive. Some configurations require you to have to remove your video card and, and other things, heat sinks and other scenarios in order to be able to get those M.2 drives into your board. So this just makes it easier. You can pop this open, put the drives in there, clone whatever you need to clone from a drive in, that's already inside the machine to it or from drive to drive inside of it, and you're done. So an external solution for M.2 formatted hard drives, PCI Express only, uh, for both external USB connectivity, or actually not USB in this case, this is actually Thunderbolt for cloning. So that being said, let's also open this bad boy up and see what it looks like, because obviously, you know, you want an unboxing. Right on the top, you have some documentation here, and it just says SoftRaid, talks about their software and whatnot. You have their little quick start guide, talks you out of using, er, talks you, Shows you how to use it. Next, you have a little card here that just says, hi there, how are you? And we really appreciate you. Please reach out to us. We'd like to know what you think. Kind of a summarization. You have a little box of accessories here. You have a Thunderbolt cable, very important. You have your power brick. And of course, the cable for connecting to the actual unit itself. And then you have the enclosure. And it's quite similar to if you've ever worked with many PCs, you know, uh, coming from companies like Intel or Azul. Uh, it's about the size of a kind of a semi-large mini PC. Uh, very simple in design, small, has good weight to it because obviously it's OWC. There's a lot of aluminum to this, a lot of heavy duty parts. I mean, this thing's gonna last you forever. But the access to the drive, well, for one, it has rubber feet on both the bottom and the side. So if you decide to just lay it like that on your desk or Turn it like this, they've got you covered. Uh, you have a fan at the bottom to keep everything cool with because, you know, these drives are going to heat up a little bit. NVMe does that, or M.2 in general does that. And you have two easy to access little thumb screws in the back so you can get in and out of the unit without having to take apart, you know, these tiny little screws with screwdrivers or anything like that. And you don't actually have to take the screws fully out. Once you get them at a certain height, you just grab them and pick up. 
and it slides right off. Inside, in order to access the drive, you have to remove this fan section right here. It's on this just a sheet of metal going across the little fan in the middle. This is directly above where the drives sit inside of there. There's two small little screws here, which yeah, you do have to unfortunately break out a screwdriver after all, but it's okay. It's still so far so good. Uh, this comes off and your drive inserts or, or at least your, your ports are right there and you have four of them right on top. You just insert all four, put the, uh, the fan assembly back on here, two screws. Everything goes back together. You tighten those little thumb screws in the back and you're done. So four drives or less, one, two, three, or four drives and uh, you're ready to go. Connectivity wise, you have two Thunderbolt ports here on the back, which are Thunderbolt 3, very important. Right next to that, you have a display port, which is display port 1.2. And then you have a input for the power, that's it. So most likely you're gonna be using it with the Thunderbolt and they cover it with this little sticker here that simply tells you, hey, for the best performance, Soft Raid must be installed. For instructions, see page two of the Soft Raid Quick Start Guide. So in this case, we're probably not gonna be using Soft Raid because we're going to be using this to clone hard drives with. Now, obviously, if you wanna use this as a Raid configuration, well then congratulations, this is an unboxing video for your Raid external enclosure. Now you know what it looks like. Now you know how simple it is to get to everything. It's really easy to work with. You know, it takes you minutes to set everything up. But like I said, what we're doing today is we're cloning drives. We are going to be taking this and running a full story on this, walking you through everything. And we're going to try this for ourselves. We wanna make sure that M.2 PCI Express NVMe hard drives can indeed be cloned using this without any brick walls to have to run into in the process. It should be just as easy as I explained. Insert your drive or drives, take your Thunderbolt cable, plug it into your computer, and start cloning using your favorite software. So, to know how this ended up, go to the website, plcnetwork.net, where we're gonna have a full story about this later on. We're gonna tell you what we thought about the enclosure and if it worked. And we have high expectations because OWC is an amazing brand. They make really solid products. And so far, we've had nothing but luck with them. So go check it out, plcnetwork.net. Go see what we say about this and uh, find out what the results were. And if you liked what you've seen here, don't forget to subscribe below. We have that button down there, as well as take advantage of the comment section as we'd love to hear from you. And as always, we thank you for watching and we'll catch you next time. If you wanna stay on top of all the latest and greatest and or at least the gadgets we cover, remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button, click it. You're gonna to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button, click it.